Good evening, I'm Mark Lane. Here's what's making headlines from across the county. The man accused of raping and killing a 13-year-old, Patricia Alatori, is expected to be in court this week. Armando Cruz faces 12 felony counts and possibly the death penalty if convicted. He's scheduled to be in court starting tomorrow as well as this Friday and Monday the 17th. The woman that was charged with five felony counts for the crash that killed a 77-year-old woman in August of 2021 pleaded no contest to all charges. Ariana Hernandez was arrested and booked on charges including suspicion of felony driving under the influence and causing injury and gross vehicular manslaughter while intoxicated. She's scheduled to be in court again for sentencing on November 29th. And jaywalking will soon be legal in California. Governor Gavin Newsom signed a bill into law that allows people to legally cross outside of an intersection without being ticketed as long as it's safe to do so. The law says people can only be ticketed if there is an immediate danger of a crash. The new law will take effect in January of 2023. And things are heating up in Kern County thanks to this ridge of upper high level pressure in heading into California, really raising up our temperatures, keeping that moisture out of the state and keeping us above average. Let's take a look at what that looks like. 88 degrees on Tuesday tomorrow, warming up to 92 by Wednesday and up to 94 by Saturday before we see a bit of a cool down, bringing us back into those upper 80s by Monday. And our mountains are feeling this warm up as well. 92 tomorrow for Lake Isabella, getting up to 93 and then back into those 80s by Sunday. To Catch will be warming up to 83, then back to the 70s by Monday. And Fraser Park, 81 tomorrow, getting up to 83, and then back to 77 by Monday. And as you can see, a slight chance of rain in our forecast for our mountain communities. We're going to continue to track that rain chances and our warm weather for the next few days. Ava, thank you very much. That's your latest news and weather update. For the latest updates anytime, be sure to head to our website, turn to 23com